Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here with the second part of our Cinema 4D After Effects Tracer Type Connected Animation Tutorial. So in the first part, we put together this 3D animation in Cinema 4D using a bunch of different effectors like Tracer and Time and animating them on and off to kind of snap around this type. And from there, we want to bring in After Effects and create this kind of glassy look as well as the color is changing and some cool post-production stuff to really wrap this thing up and make sure we're putting the extra layer of gloss and sheen on top of all of our 3D animation projects. So what I'll do is just make a new project from scratch. And then I'm gonna to wanna to import my PNG sequence that I have right here. So in the last video, we wrapped it up with rendering out this PNG sequence with an alpha channel of our whole animation. So I can just grab that first frame, make sure PNG sequence is checked. And then I'll go to open and let's set up our colors real quick to be high definition and sRGB so everything matches up by this little button down here. Always a good point to start projects in After Effects with. And then to bring this in, I'm going to drag this PNG sequence onto the new composition layer and that's gonna make a new composition. And we can see if we check this on and off, it is with an alpha channel. So we wanna set up the background color and do some post-production stuff like those colors changing and all those effects. So first of all, let's make a background solid by going layer new solid and I'll go white and I'll make this called BG and that'll just be my base color. And what I wanna do is have some adjustment layers with different effects to kind of break things up for color correction and that effect. So I'm gonna go to layer new adjustment layer and I'll call this glass. And on this one, to create that kind of glassy effect, I'm gonna, in my effects, find CC glass. And if I drag this on here, it's gonna look kind of weird at first. And what we wanna do is on this effect under surface, there's the layer that we're taking this bump map from. So we wanna change that to our tracer text. And that's gonna look a little more like what we want it to if we look at a frame that's not blurred out from the motion blur. And what we can do with this effect is adjust the amount of that glassiness and refraction that we're getting by adjusting things like the softness and height. So we can get really bubbly and refracted and really take away a lot of the color if we wanted, as well as kind of soften it and bend it around. So some cool effects you can do on an adjustment layer with this effect that works really nicely when we're talking about this kind of organic text animation. Now, what we wanna do in addition to that is Let's grab a curves and do a little bit of color correction. I'll put that above our glass. So I'll just pull this down and push the high ends up so we can just get a little bit of higher contrast in post-production. And now if we scrub through, we can see that we're getting more contrast. We're getting that glassy effect. It's looking really cool when this thing snaps around. And what we can do to push this a little further is have the color cycling through. And how we can do that is on this adjustment layer or my footage of my Cinema 4D file, I'm gonna grab a hue saturation and I'll drag that onto here. And with this hue saturation, what we wanna do to get it to change those colors is check on colorize. And I'll look through and turn that saturation up a bit so it is really bringing out the brightness of those colors. And what we want this to do is not just change it to a different color, but we want to cycle through them over time. And how we can do that is that we basically want it to run this meter the whole time. But rather than setting keyframes and kind of adjusting that, what we can do is add an expression to this stopwatch to make this infinitely cycle through these. So how we can do that is by option or alt clicking on this stopwatch. And then we'll use the expression time, which will link this value to the time in the playhead. So at one second, it would be one, two seconds, it would be two. And we can multiply that by another number. So if we do time times 30, every second it's going to cycle through 30 units of this hue, and then I'll press enter. And now if we cycle through, we can see that it's adjusting color over time. And if we want that to go quicker, we could just make this number bigger. So we'll go time times 50. And then it's gonna cycle through these much quicker. And you can see it creates this pretty cool effect when we're combining that hue saturation expression with that glass effect on that adjustment layer. One thing we want to do on top of all of this is add another adjustment layer to add a nice vignette. Always nice to do on motion graphics projects. So I'll go another adjustment layer and I'll call this vignette. And on this one, I'm going to grab curves again, and I'm just going to pull the top point all the way down so it looks darker. 
And then what we can do to block this to just the edges is grab an ellipse mask up here and then just double click on it and that's gonna create a mask. And then we can invert that mask right here and then press F to feather and just turn that up. And then we can press T and just turn down the opacity of the whole layer. Now, the last thing we wanna do is have that glass kind of turn off so we can actually read this text at the end. We can see it comes here and then it's kind of unreadable. And that's why we set this glass on an adjustment layer because we can just turn off the opacity of that adjustment layer. So for that glass adjustment layer, I'm gonna press T again and I'll set a keyframe for opacity and then I'll go ahead 20 frames and I'll set another one and turn it down to zero. And then I'll just ease that edge just so it smoothly goes in. We don't see any bumps. And then it's gonna play through this cycle through all these, get that nice glass effect. And then when we get to here and need to read it, it's gonna shut off that adjustment layer and then it will reveal our text. And if we wanted that to be kind of shorter, we could tighten up those keyframes a bit so we don't see that transition. So that is it. We got our text flying around. We get this nice, cool glass effect on it. It's cycling through colors and then it snaps together. So I hope you enjoyed this one. It's a good example of a lot of stuff we could do in the first part in Cinema 4D and then just show how you can connect Cinema 4D with After Effects and do some cool post-production stuff on top of your footage, really push the colors and always bring things into After Effects or a compositing program to really finish things and wrap up your 3D animation and look at it as if it was footage that could always benefit from that last little push. So I hope you enjoyed this one. This was a fun one to put together. As always, be sure to subscribe on YouTube at youtube.com slash Sean Frangella, as well as follow me on Twitter if you want to ask questions, request tutorials at twitter.com slash Sean Frangella, and check out facebook.com slash Vital if you want to interact that way and follow on that site. As always, thanks for watching.